Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be recreating a makeup by one celebrity. So if you want to know which one it is, come with me. If you don't know me, my name is Leonor. I'm a makeup artist, a makeup lover and a makeup enthusiast. And here in my channel you can always find videos about makeup makeup products, makeup tips, makeup tutorials. If you don't want to miss anything, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell so you can get all of the notifications when I upload a new video. If you like this one, don't forget to give it also a thumbs up. I'm also going to leave down there all of my other social media if you want to follow me there as well. So guys, as you saw in today's video, I'm going to be recreating a makeup by one celebrity. I decided to create like a series of these kind of videos. So I will be posting like every two weeks or every three weeks a video like this, recreating a makeup by one celebrity. And I also decided to give this series a name that is going to be make readies so it's like makeup with celebrities mixed in so it makes make readies <laughs> i think that it's a funny name i hope that you like it i think um that it's going to be a fun series and i really hope that you like to see these kind of videos and see how i do the recreations of some makeup by some celebrities. I already thought about doing this kind of videos, this kind of series and everything. And when I was on Pinterest and I was seeing some makeups, I saw this one and I was like, okay, this has got to be the first one. And I just really hope that you like it because I'm really excited to start. I'm going to leave a photo up here so you can see which makeup I'm recreating. And it's the makeup by Gigi Hadid. I just really loved this makeup and I think that you can see on the photo that this makeup is like natural but at the same time very glowy and I don't know I just when I saw the photo I was just vibing at it. I just think that the kind of makeup that she has in this photo is the kind of makeup that I like to use on myself so let's just start. So I decided to put a hairband on my hair just so I can have my face all shown and that it's going to be easy to do the makeup and everything and of course that I zoomed you in a little bit so you can see better what I'm doing and everything. So to start I'm going to use my primer and of course I'm going to use a hydrating primer. I'm going to use this by Embryolis that I just love. So this first step it's like I'm doing my needs. I don't know which products she used of course but I'm using the ones that are good for my skin and everything and the products that I have on my collection. And the next product, of course, that it's the foundation and I'm going to use this one by Uda Beauty. You know that I love this foundation as well. I think that you can see in her makeup that her skin is very flawless and it almost seems like it's uh, full coverage and everything. So I decided to use this one, of course, because of that, because this foundation is very full coverage. I'm going to mix the foundation with my sponge. The one that I'm using it's by Argent Makeup that it's the Marshmallow Blender. It's an amazing sponge. The price is so amazing. I, I just think that I need to buy another one <laughs> because I just really loved it. I decided to try it. All the brushes and everything about the brand that it's a Portuguese brand and I just I think that the uh, brushes are amazing, but this sponge, oh my god, I think that you can see the finish that it's giving to my skin. That's why I just really love to use both the sponge and this, um, this foundation. I think that this foundation is very beautiful. And the one that I'm using today, it's like the older version of the foundation, it's not the new one. I have like one foundation that it's the older version in one that it's the new, both of them, both of the formulas are amazing. This one has that smell, but I really love the smell. I know that there are some people that don't like the smell because it's too strong or because they break with uh, foundations that have like a scent, but I don't. And now for the concealer, I'm going to use this one by Too Faced, that it's the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I bought this one uh, like maybe two weeks ago. That's when I started using it. And I've been really enjoying it. The first time that I used it, I didn't really like it. But the other times, 
I really did. So <laughs> I'm just uh, still trying it. I'm gonna give you my final opinion and all of that because I don't want to tell you that I swear by this one if I don't. <laughs> but I think that this one also really helps to do like the skin very perfect and everything. I hope that you can see that on the camera. My under eyes and everything are very flawless. I think that this uh, concealer covers really well my dark areas and everything. So, and it also gives light to the skin. So now the next step, it's going to be the powder. I'm going to use this one by Uda Beauty. Just think that this powder is amazing to use with this concealer. I don't know what to tell you. I just really love this powder. It's like my favorite powder that I have. I used this uh, concealer also with the powder by Fenty Beauty and I didn't like how it finished and everything. But with this one by Uda Beauty it always looks amazing. I'm also going to apply the powder in the rest of my face. Now let's pass to contour. I'm going to use this powder by NARS in the color Casino. I really love this bronzer. I think that it's very beautiful. She has a very uh, sculpted uh, bronzing and everything. So that's what I'm going to also do. Not going to do like a lot because I don't really like to see myself with a lot of contour, but enough so we can be like similar, okay? I hope that you can see the contour is very strong, but not, I think that it's not as strong as hers, but I'm liking how it's looking. What do you think? But now let's pass to blush. I'm going to use this powder, that it's the Global Glow, that it's a mineralized skin finish powder uh, by MAC. I just think that this one is just so amazing. If you see uh, her cheeks and everything, they are not like pink, but they are not like coral or anything. It's more like a gold tone to the cheeks and this one does that. So with this powder, I think that you can see that my cheeks look like very natural, but at the same time glowy and everything. So I think that this product was a good one. And now for highlighter, I'm going to use this one by Tarte, the Expose Highlighter. It's a gold highlighter, so I think that it's going to be good with the eyes and everything, they are gold. I think that you can see that this highlighter is so powerful and it's so beautiful, oh my god. Now just to mix everything, I'm going to use my Thermal Water by Uriage. And now the next step, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to use this product by Benefit, that it's the Give Me Brow. I think that you can see that eyebrows are very like natural and everything. So I think that this product is the right one to do that. You can see this one is done and this one is not. And it looks so natural, but at the same time it looks like is everything in place. So that's why I really love this product. They look just so natural. I, I, I can't tell you how much I love this product. And now let's pass to highs, that it's like the most important, and I'm not going to say important, but the part that gives everything to this make. So first I decided to pick this palette and use this shadow, the middle one, just to create a little color on my crease and everything. She has like a really natural color and I think that this one is going to be good. As I said, I'm going to apply it on my crease. So I hope that you can see. It's like a very natural color. Maybe you can't see on the camera, uh, but here in the mirror I can see that it's a little bit of color on my eye. With this belt, the Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to use this shadow in here, but it's the fairy, and I'm going to apply it on my lid. And now to give a little bit of power, I'm going to use this glitter by Musa Glitter in the color Goddess, that it's this amazing gold. I'm going to pick this shadow from MAC, that it's the color Nylon, and I'm going to use it here 
on my inner corner of the eye because she has the corner of the eye very like light and everything and I'm going to pick this shadow again and I'm going to apply it here because she also has a little bit of color and now it's time to do the eyeliner I'm going to use this one by Inglots, the number 77 So the eyeliner is done. I wasn't going to do the eyeliner that she has because that's a little strong for me and I don't really like that kind of eyeliner. Now I'm going to apply my mascara. I'm going to use this one by Benefit. They are real magnet. I think that this mascara is just amazing. It's like my favorite of the moment. I've been like using it and using it. It's just so good. It gives an amazing lashes. Now I'm going to apply some eyelashes on the corner of my eyes. I'm going to use single eyelashes. They are from Primark. I'm going to use two long and one short on this side of the eye. So the eyes are done. So let's pass to lips. I'm going to use first this lip liner by Uda Beauty. Lip contour 2.0 on the color Honey Beige. So I think that you can see that this color is just so beautiful on the lips. It's so easy to apply, the durability is amazing, so I'm just really in love with this product. And now for the lips I'm going to use this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills, that it's the Stripped, the liquid lipstick. And I just really love this color. So the lips are done, I think that this combo worked out really well. The lipstick that I applied is matte but the one that she has on her lips it's not but I don't have like one uh, like that in this kind of color so I decided to use this one and I think that it worked out pretty well. Now to finish the makeup I'm just going to apply my setting spray. So the makeup is done. I decided to also apply a little bit of earrings like gold earrings like she has on the photo. They are not equal but it's gold, so I think that the makeup looks pretty similar to what she has. My face is not equal to hers, but I think that makeup in general looks pretty good. But now I want to know if you liked this video and if you liked the makeup. I'm really thinking about doing this more times, so please tell me if you really liked it. And I also want to know if you thought, as I do, that it's similar. I think that it's a good recreation of her makeup and if you want to tell me which makeup I should do next, which celebrity makeup I should do next, go down there on the comments area and tell me and if you have like a photo you can send me for my Instagram or anything so I can see and recreate it. And I just want to remind you to click on the thumbs up button if you like this video and click on the subscribe button. I just really hope that you like this one, that it was a good video for you, a fun one, for me it was, so now I just hope to see you on my next one. Bye!